too. Don't sneak up behind me next time. Lucky for you, I wasn't armed. <laughs> no sleep for you either, huh? that weighs on your mind, the more your fears become dreamscapes. Actually, seeing as there's no one around, it, can I ask you some things? This Stellaron you speak of, if you were to find it, how sure are you that you could stop the Eternal Freeze? Your confidence actually makes me even more worried. This isn't like helping a child make a snowball. You know, it was difficult for me to believe you. Some of the words you use are too alien for those that have lived their entire life in Bellabog. As far as I was concerned, Madame Kakolia's order to arrest you sounded reasonable. But why didn't she issue it straight away? She must have realized something about you. Something I haven't yet been able to perceive for myself. And it bothers me. What must have transpired to cause her such a drastic change? Ah, still, orders are orders. It's not for soldiers to question their superiors. I don't need you to remind me. And... I didn't have every confidence that I was doing the right thing. But the sense of duty to carry out an order is bound to prevail with me. In the past, overworld soldiers on the front line would lose their lives in droves. And yet, the Fragmentum's advance would remain unaffected. Nevertheless, that was her reason for deploying all the Silvermane guards to the front line. The transport line for supplies in Geomero remained open, but the passage between the surface and the underground ceased. Huh. I approved of that decision. I never thought that the underworld would sink into such ruin without the Silverman guards. Perhaps Mother was wrong. But how can I change her mind? I've tried, but she won't listen. I don't know how to get through to her. Help me change the mind of the Madam Guardian? <laughs> Not easy. Nobody knows that better than I do. Oh, the more I think about it, the more disoriented I get, which in turn makes me think about it even more. I just want a better life for the people of Bellabog. Maybe you're right. Or not. Right now, I... I just need more time to think. Walk with me. Let's forget our problems for a while. I can't remember the last time I went for a walk like this. I never thought I'd take one through such a strange place with someone I'd only just gotten to know. It's so quiet here. I'm not used to it. Ah, the quieter things are around you, the louder... Th I'm surprised the vagrants in the Great Mine go after the mining teams. They must be desperate. Still, whatever their situation, a crime is a crime. How is the law supposed to find a balance between justice and compassion in the face of such complexity? How much longer can you last with your current supplies? Is that Zila? Let's go take a look. I know. I'll go to Rivet Town and bring them back for you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Get Oleg to send someone with you. The rest of Wildfire has barely gotten any sleep the last few days. They should rest. They'd only be holding their eyelids open and slowing me down. Besides, didn't you say some of the miners were gravely injured? 
Lives are on the line. <gasps> Aren't you supposed to be sleeping? What are you doing out here? Up to no good, perhaps? We're just having a walk neither of us could sleep. You can rescind your baseless accusations. <laughs> Walk somewhere else, then. Easy, Zila. Maybe they can help. <laughs> I'm grateful. Here's the situation. The clinic is packed full of people injured in the mines incident. Since you helped us resolve things, Zila and I have been busy caring for them. As you know, the underground is lacking resources to begin with. Add on the sudden nature of the incident, and it's no surprise that the clinic is almost out of medical supplies. We need to acquire more... somehow. The situation in other towns is even worse than ours. As the Fragmentum spreads underground, more monsters go roaming around and causing trouble for all the towns. That means more vagrants in the mines. The town's resources have been swallowed up by the Fragmentum. To get anything now, people have to risk their lives. Easy now, Zila. Anger isn't good for one's health. Zila and I actually aren't from here. We both come from an industrial town to the north. A few years ago, the Fragmentum began to seep into the town center. I used to manage an orphanage and clinic there. But after the Fragmentum corroded the area, I had no choice but to move here to Boulder Town. After all, I have to survive myself if I want to save more people. Go to a corroded town to collect some useful resources? I'm in. You want to come as well? But you look quite tired. Hold up! I never said you could join us! People's lives are at stake. Why wouldn't you want another person to help? Besides, I have some experience with the Fragmentums. I'm sure I will be of use. <sighs> well, just don't slow me down. Zila's lack of outright rejection means she approves of you. <laughs> With you all accompanying her, my mind will be more at ease. Come, let me give you a list of materials we need. The place you're going to is called Rivet Town. Follow the path through the mountains to the north for a bit, and you'll arrive there. <sighs> let me think. Uh, I'm almost out of metal plates and bandages used for immobilizing broken bones. There's a market in the center of Rivet Town. Residents left behind piles of materials there when they evacuated. Please look for some there. Oh, also rubbing alcohol. I kept a bunch at the orphanage, since the kids often got into tussles. <laughs> I didn't bring it with me when I left. Oh, I hope it's still intact. Lastly, painkillers. There should be a bunch stored in the old lab. Hopefully they haven't been destroyed by monsters. These should be enough to get by for a bit longer. Be careful. Don't push yourselves too hard. Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol, and painkillers. Got it. Piece of cake. Let's go. If we leave now, we can still make it back before sundown. When it comes to helping injured people groaning in pain, the sooner the better. If we hadn't happened to be passing by... Were you really planning on going into the Fragmentum alone? Of course. What's all... all the fuss about? I've done that loads of times. So reckless. According to the rules of the Silvermane Guards, any expedition into the Fragmentum must have a squad of at least four members, as well as a communications officer. Exactly. A rule of the Silvermane Guards. Don't apply your rules to us.
We're here. This is Rivet Town. Everything looks familiar. Let's go and watch your step. We haven't been here in a long time. There are probably some monsters around. We can't see anything here. Let's find higher ground to get a better view. See that house on the hill? That's Natasha's old orphanage. After Oleg found me, he sent me there. I spent over half my childhood in that place. Natasha said that the house was donated by some rich businessman. Whatever his business may have been, he must have been a good person. I miss those carefree days as a kid. Huh. What? Nothing to say? No, it's just... This place seems familiar somehow. Uh, never mind. Weirdo. Look down there. See the mess that remains of those old stalls? That's Rivet Town's market. The supplies Natasha wants are probably there. Let's keep moving. Watch out for monsters. Ahead. These aren't like vagrants. They won't. Don't treat me like a new recruit. I'm all too familiar with the monsters of the Fragmentum. Let's get ready to fight. Ha! No more playing. Strike the 